Okay, we'll begin with the first lesson. Let us are grouped together so that we stress early on the importance of the special features for each letter and help students form categories which can help throughout the learning process as opposed to the alphabetical order which will move from one shape to the next. <clears throat> the first letter to learn is the letter Aleph. I'll write here. It's not easiest to write with the cursor. <clears throat> um, but we'll have a chance later on to actually use a paper and a pen and write the alphabet for a review. But now we'll just use these slides to guide you. So the Aleph, imagine there is a line and the Aleph is almost the size of an L and you start from the top and you come down. So this is the note, your notebook and then that's Aleph. It generally, it's an angle or straight down. Um, that's the Aleph, so you can practice on your own in your notebook. Just the size of an L, it's easy to pronounce, uh, to write down, and you just come down to the t to the line. You don't go below the line. And if you have a notebook that has two lines, so it almost goes all the way to the top line. Uh, it covers basically the entire space between. Uh, in your notebook. That's the Aleph, the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. <clears throat> in Arabic, it's similar to English cursive, so we're looking more into uh, letters that connect and do not connect, uh, as opposed to in English, write, like when you're writing in blocks, you don't connect the letters together. But in Arabic, letters naturally would connect to one another, except with some letters that do not connect. So in isolated form, that's the line, and we just saw how it's written. So it's just a line down. If it's as the first letter of a word, so the word is going to continue right here, writing some gibberish, and the Aleph will be written like this. What that means, see the space there? What that means is that the Aleph does not connect to the left of it it doesn't connect to the left so when you start writing stuff you put some space then you continue to write if it's in the middle of a word so you're coming from some stuff here and then you connect it to the elif it connects to the right of it so you come straight up from this word then you go up and that's the elif then you continue here with the next letter leaving that space in between because the elif does not connect to the left it connects only to the right of it if it's final there is no nothing after it so you're coming from some stuff here and then you connect to move forward and pull up and that's the alif wow just like English wow and imagine there is a line right here the, the notebook your notebook line is right at that right there so let's practice writing so you start a little bit above the line right here then you make shape this way and that's wow so right here start this way move forward then make a circle let's do more a couple more that's wow in writing this this is isolated there is nothing attached to it so that's how it's written when, just like the elif, when you're writing it as the first letter of a word, the wow is there, the first letter, and then we start on the right and go to the left. So the next word would be at a space. You start right there, then you go to the next, whatever you're going to write afterwards. If it's the, mid, the middle, in the middle position of a word, then you're coming from here, but you connect it, like so, and you make that, and then you go to the next and write it there. So there is a space right there. There is a space between the letters to the left and the wow itself. If it's final, you're coming from here and then you end right there and there is nothing after it. So that's the letter wow and keep in mind that we're using it now as a long vowel. <clears throat> the next is yeah. So why and apostrophe yeah. And isolated, this is how it looks like, and that's where the, your notebook is going to be. 
We'll practice it right here. So you come right there. Let's start again. Start a little above of the line, make a, an arc above and a bigger arc underneath the line. An arc above and a bigger arc underneath. An arc above, a bigger arc underneath. And of course, you put the dots right there, just like in the printed one right here. <coughs> The yet isolated. The letter as the first word it you start the notes that it changes. So this is the isolated. Yeah. But when you're writing it as the first letter, so here's your line, it becomes just an indentation like this, and then you pull forward and you go to the next letter. When it's in middle position, you're starting right here, then you connect it. And you go up an indentation that way, you make that indentation and you go forward. Let me show you. So if you're writing, you do that, that, and you move forward, and you put the dots. If it's initial, you go like this, and you pull forward, then dot, dot. If it's final, it's a little bit modified, but it regained its isolated shape. <clears throat> so you're coming from here, and you pull forward, and you make that swirly shape. So you're coming from a letter, up, down big shape and that's the yeah yeah <clears throat> and the line would be right here so it's written that's the oops not as good that would be your guiding line for the notebook